What's up guys, this is Nick up at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1969 C10 with air ride. So we're gonna go for a test drive. Let's go for a ride. All right, getting ready to take off down the road in a 1969 C10 truck. This thing's got air ride suspension. All the switches are down here. Uh, we've got a couple different switches under the dash. One of them's an electric fan, which you can hear cut on. And one of them's the generator for under there. The generator won't cut on until you set the truck on. Truck's still cold. Check the radio out. See if this thing works. This is where we're going. And it does work. You got a switch for your wipers. So when you cut them off, if you cut them off there, it sticks there. It's kind of like a game. Wait till it gets down, cut it off. <laughs> but we're gonna take off down the road, check everything out. The horn don't work. Any kind of falls that I see, you will know about. The truck's sitting a little high right now, so the suspension will be stiff. I might lower her down a little bit. I think that's a good ride height. Give us a little bit of leeway on her. twenty dollars worth of gas in this truck I usually do this just to check the gas gauge just make sure we have gas in our vehicles a lot of times we buy them they don't have gas in them so but I do understand that if you're selling it you don't want to fill it up but I'll let you know if it works all right we'll turn her on check the gas gauge here definitely came up off of E. As we ride, I bet you it'll come up even more. You can kind of see it climbing just ever so slightly. So the gas gauge does work. There it goes. Keeps going up.
trying to adjust the ride out to where it feels pretty good. I've got it a little bit lower to the ground this time. We're gonna see how it handles the bumps. Still a little bumpy. About as low as I'd want to be is right here. It's a, it's a lot better when you lower it down a little bit. It feels a little bit smoother.
actually is. You know that helped actually quite a bit. It's not as bumpy. This is a rough back lot right here, so it's always a little bumpy. Of course, I'm not used to low rider stuff. We get some of it in, and it looks cool. I like how you can lay the back down and have the front sitting up, which is what I'm going to do. Set the back all the way down. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this is going to conclude my test drive. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, give us a call, 615-822-4444. I'll be happy to help you out. You can also check out our website, maplemotors.com. I've got 100 detailed pictures of this truck inside and out and underneath. Um, if you have any other questions, you can comment below. I appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again, guys.